So when you threaten to hurt anybody, it is not a joke. We know it's real. We've seen it throughout the country. We've seen the mass shootings in school. We've seen children killing children. And, and it being a joke is not a defense. The second teen accused of making racist, violent threats at Arborview High School learned his fate today. The judge sentenced him to nine months at Spring, Mouth Ute, Spring Mountain Youth Camp. Our crew was in the courtroom this morning. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner breaks down what happened. Well, parents from the group No Racism in Schools filled the courtroom. Many of their own children were targeted in the racist posts. We talked to the prosecutor who says she hopes today's ruling will send a strong message. Someone else had taken the pictures and wanted to shoot and kill us because we were black. And that hurt. That's the voice of one of the students pictured in racist threatening posts like this one. I go to I go to school with racist kids, I realized. I was feeling what my victims were were thinking and, and how they were feeling at that moment. On the other side of the courtroom, one of the two teens who prosecutors say is behind the Instagram account. There's no evidence he did anything other than make a verbal comment. The teen's lawyer said this started as a joke. Where they're scared, they're remorseful. This kid has made a mistake. And it sucks that it took me getting arrested to realize that. I'm so sorry. But Chief Deputy DA Bridget Duffy says that's not an excuse. In the power of social media that's disrupting our kids and schools, they say it's a joke. And we, we don't take it as a joke. Uh, clearly, this case has impacted our entire community. It has caused unrest and uneasiness within our schools. Both teens got the same sentence. How are we going to rehabilitate racism? The DA's office created a program at Spring Mountain Youth Camp specifically after this incident. We'll ask for psychological evaluations to keep our community safe. Uh, the program uh, that these uh, two children are going to be going to will be designed to address bias and racism, as well as the school threats. Duffy hopes this sends a strong message to students, parents, and the entire community. There are a range of consequences within the juvenile justice system. And on first petitions, very rarely are we sending children out of the community. But when you are disrupting school operations and you are making threats that cause other children terror and trauma and anxiety, it is not a joke. Duffy says school threat cases land on her desk every week, and it's a trend that needs to stop. They're all fueled by some sort of hatred or bullying. Uh, this one just happened to be fueled at race, which is a huge topic and an important topic, and one that uh, I'm hopeful that our juvenile justice system is ready to uh, address. And CCSD police said a third student was also cited for cyberbullying in connection with this case. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.